Okay, so we've got a problem here on, well, these problems are kind of fun. It's a beam sticking out of a wall, and we'll just draw it like that. And this beam has a center of mass right in the middle, and the beam has a mass of 40 kilograms. And so here we've got gravity acting on the center of mass. In addition, we have a wire. I can do the wire in this color here. Actually, let's take this color. And the wire is connected to the tip of the beam and what we need to do is figure out what's the force of the wire okay so we'll call that force of tension of the wire and we also need to figure out what is the force from the wall. Okay? There's the wall. Here's the wall here. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is use our three equations. Summation of the forces in the x direction is zero. Summation of the forces in the y direction is zero. And summation of the torques equals zero, about a point that which we will decide in a moment. Now, let's go ahead and split a few things up here. By the way, there's one other piece of information that's given that I haven't written down yet, and that is this angle here is 42 degrees. Okay, so what is going to be the answer? Well, the way we're going to do this is let's split these guys up into horizontal and vertical. First of all, before we come over here, why don't we just break this guy up into horizontal and vertical? So that's going to be like that and then like that. So what's this going to be? This is going to be Ft cosine 42, and this is going to be Ft sine, oops, sine theta or sine 42, where this is theta. Now, therefore, uh, we could actually split this guy up also into uh, components. So let's say this guy has a component this way and this way. Let's say this is uh, FWX, and let's say this is FWY. Now, how many forces do we have in what directions? Well, if we do summation of the forces in the X direction, we're going to get positive fwx minus ft cosine 42 and those are the only two things that exist here so this guy and this guy have to be equal and opposite in order to satisfy this okay that's one the next one that we can do is we can say summation of the forces in the y direction are equal to zero. Therefore, I can say positive. By the way, just a quick note here. Those two directions are positive. So I can say positive uh, FWY plus FT sine 42 minus MG. 
Okay, so there's three vectors that are vertical. One, two, three. And there they are, one, two, three. And all that has got to equal zero. Um, now, the next one, the next equation that I'm going to use is going to be summation of the torques. Now, quick question, which point should we choose? Well, in order to make this uh, an easy problem, I'm going to choose the end of uh, I'm going to choose the end right here as the point about which I am going to take the sum of the moments about. Okay? So it's it's at the tip of the 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 beam. We'll call this uh point B. So in that case, how many forces can I neglect? Well, this FT acts at that point. Now I know what you're thinking. What about this distance here? Well, we're not going to consider this beam has any type of thickness to it. Okay? I have drawn this beam with a thickness vertically, but for all intents and purposes in this question, we'll assume that this beam does not have a vertical thickness. Therefore, consider it to be a line. Hence, FT actually goes through point B. Does that make sense? Okay. Next, FWX has a line of action that is going through the point, and so therefore FWX doesn't either. The only two forces that create a torque about point B are MG and FWY. So now the one thing if you'll notice here uh, that we're not really given is the length of the beam. What's the length of the beam? We don't know. Therefore, as you should always do in situations that you do not know, let's actually assume the length is L. So we'll say the length of the beam is L. Hence, let's continue with the problem. Let's take, let's first start with force mg. Force mg does this type of a rotation, which is counterclockwise about point B. Counterclockwise, remember, is positive, and clockwise is negative for torques by convention. So that means mg is going to produce a negative torque. And remember, torque is equal to force perpendicular times distance, or the arm. Therefore, the arm is half of L, or L by 2, and the force is mg. And the sign is positive. So we'll put it all together now. Positive F times D L by 2. That's one down. Now we got the other one to do, which is FWY right here, this guy. Well, that is going to produce a force that goes like that. Well, I should have drawn that arc a little further, like that. That's a clockwise rotation about point B. Therefore, it's negative. And the force is FWY. And the distance is L, not L by 2. It's from one side to the other. Now, that is going to give us 0, OK? Now, let's try and solve for something here. If you'll notice in this equation here, I'm actually going to divide the whole equation by L. And by doing that, I'm going to get rid of this L and this L. Because 0 divided by L is still going to be L. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for FWY. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, the way I'll do that is I'll take this whole term and put it on that side of the equal sign. So I've got mg by 2 equals, that's what I'm left with here, fwy. 
Okay? So, now that I know what FWY is, because I just solved it, right? There you go. Now let me go and see if I can use this information in another one of the two equations that I have, namely this one. Let's see if I can solve for it now. Let's see if I can solve for FT. Taking this second equation here and solving for FT, I'm going to have FT equals mg minus fwy, but that's not all. Now I have to divide by sine 42. And of course now you see that if I substitute in mg into fwy, I've got mg minus mg by 2 divided by uh, sine 42. Let's go ahead and work out what these twos are. I mean, this is pretty, uh, pretty easy now to calculate the values of these two guys because we know m is actually 40 kilos. So let's go ahead and work it out. What's this one? Well, that's just 40 enter 9.8 times uh, 2 divided by and we're getting 196 here 196 newtons there and the other one is this one actually we can uh, simplify a little bit let's go now factor out an mg here and you're left with 1 minus 1 half divided by sine 42 and of course 1 minus 1 half is 1 half isn't it so that's simply mg divided by 2 sine 42 and what's that that's going to be 40 enter 9.8 times 2 divided by 42 sine divided by which gives us 292.9 292.9 newtons and that turns out to be FT well at this point uh, we can now solve for FWX because once we have FT we can use this equation to solve for FWX let's go ahead and do that uh, FWX from up there is equal to FT, I believe it said cosine, didn't it? Yeah, cosine 42. So that's going to be 292.9 newtons times cosine 42. So what's that? And that's uh, 42 cosine times. Gives us 217.68. Well, we'll just call it 0.7. So, what did we want to find at the beginning of this problem? We wanted to find what FT was. We've done that. We wanted to find what FW was. We're almost there because we have FWY and we have FWX. So let's draw this again. And let's put down what we've got so far. We just basically have one Pythagoras left to do and we're done. Um, here's a picture of it all again. Okay. With the wire. This turned out to be 292.9 and now we also know that this one
turned out to be 217.7 FWX. And now this one, FWY, well, that's equal to, right here, 196. So therefore, all we need to do is we need to calculate the resultant here. If you add these two vectors up together, you're going to have 196 and 217. What's that going to give you? And we also need this angle. Okay, so let's go 196 squared plus 217.7 squared. Take the square root, and we're going to get... Uh, shift squared and 196 squared. Add them, take the square root, and we get 292.9. Wow, look at that. 292.9 newtons. And what's this angle? Well, 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 let's find out. Uh, the way we would get that angle, by the way, is we could use Sokotoa tan. Theta is opposite over adjacent. Therefore, theta is going to equal the inverse tangent of 196 over 217. And therefore, theta is, let's try it out here, uh, 196, enter, 217.7 divided by inverse tangent. And we get 42 degrees. So, the interesting thing here is that if you look at the beam, right, we've got a force like this and a force like this, this angle is equal to this angle, and the force from the wall is equal to the force from the tension of the wire, and the cool thing is this guy's horizontal component is equal and opposite to this guy's horizontal component, and also interestingly, this guy's vertical component so the F, this guy's vertical component and this guy's vertical component are basically half of the mass. So that's, that's mg by 2, and this is mg by 2. So half the weight of this beam is lifted by the wire. The other half is lifted by the wall. And interestingly enough, the horizontal components are equal and opposite, thereby canceling out, uh, satisfying our summation of the horizontal forces equals zero. That's a cool problem. I really liked it. Hope you enjoyed it too. See ya.